Hi everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How's everyone doing? It is Wednesday, hump day. So we've made it over the week and Wednesday's my video day to do a live and to jump on here and just do a, a short craft that you might um, find exciting for you to do. So this is going to be a Dollar Tree craft. So um, I don't know if you've been to the Dollar Tree lately, but they have out their spring stuff. They're, um, excuse me, Murphy. Always, he always starts my video. He's great. Um, but yeah, they have out their spring stuff and their St. Patrick's Day stuff. They're kind of dwindling down on. So if you haven't uh, got to see my St. Patrick's Day stuff, go to Snap Expressions Decor, all one word, in my Etsy shop. And um, you can see what I've done for Easter and for St. Patty's Day. Um, I also um, have a YouTube channel. It's Snap Expressions by Crafty Kayla. Um, if you want to uh, subscribe to my channel. So when I do these little videos, I upload them. And you can go back and watch them and do them yourself after you go get the materials that, that we've worked with. So, I guess UPS guy or somebody's here because that's when he barks the most. <laughs> so, um, I wanted to share with y'all something. Um, I'm going live here on my business page. And so, I have s several hundred people in my VIP group, which is okay because I do have special content that I share in there. But, I want everybody to try to go and uh, follow me on my business page. Um, that's what really Facebook wants me to do. So I'm trying to transition over before I get locked out of my group. Um, so uh, another thing is uh, I've been putting this off, but I've got to do it. And it's a bunny, a bunny butt wreath, y'all, where you, you get the bunny butt and you get the little ears that goes with it. Um, I've got that. I'm still trying to decide what color I want to use it with, but I've got this real cute little plaid uh, ribbon that says welcome that I'm going to incorporate, and I think I'm going to use this color. So we're going to be doing that, so stay tuned for that. And um, I also want to show you this. Um, I've told y'all a long time, you know, all along that I'm going to try to do some type of wreath kits to where I do the tutorial and then I sell the kit that goes along with it. And um, since Easter's almost on us, it's going to be like April the 4th or 9th. Anyway, it's the first weekend of April, I think. Um, so that's Easter. I'm going to try to kind of move on from Easter and think ahead. And that would be Memorial Day and flag day and july 4th so i have this look how cute this is y'all it's a little farm truck um with an american flag it says god bless america i'm gonna have this available in a kit so you have this and you're gonna have um deco mesh and you're gonna have some ribbon so um if you're watching this on replay yeah um just um, send me a message and tell me you're interested. Otherwise, it's going to go out on my Etsy page for thousands or millions of people to have. But I wanted y'all to get that first. Okay, here we go. So I went and got this um, bunny from the Dollar Tree. And I took it all apart. So um, it just has this white garland stuff. And all you do is just peel it apart and just peel it all the way down to the plastic frame. Um, I've got some stuff I've set aside. Um, I've got a little grapevine wreath. I've got some felt. Um, I've got some ribbon. Um, I got some bunny ears in case I decide to use them. And I've got this yarn, this real fluffy yarn. And um, all you have to do is just start at the top right here and just, I was practicing and this is, this is how far I got y'all. So, okay, so we're going to do this um, and it's just, it's so fluffy that you just wrap it 
and just keep it going. And there's several different ways that we're gonna that we can do this. So um, I'll let you decide. Um, but in essence, you can make yourself a really cute uh, bunny wreath for your door, and it not cost a hundred dollars. So, and you know, I'm saying that because I sell my wreath in, in my Etsy shop, Murphy. And um, they they do run close to $100. Um, but one thing I wanted to tell you about the Etsy shop also was that um, you can make payments. So, and I need to adjust the camera. So you can make payments. So if you like my wreath, you can make it um, payments in four payments. And so it's really affordable, y'all. All right, can you see this really good? I'm just going to put you down a little bit. Okay. All right, so like I said, all this is is just a plastic form. And we've taken everything off and I've started wrapping it. This is going to go really fast and I may um, start my bunny butt wreath. Okay, when you get to closer to the bottom, um, just take a little bit of hot glue and uh, grab that hot glue. Just in case it comes apart a little bit, you will have the glue already on it. So yeah, I haven't been on in a while. I kind of got out of the swing of things and then um, spring break, so I had, you know, the grandkids um, always wants to come over during spring break. So we do that sometimes. All right. And then, man, I don't remember, have I told y'all that I took the Moderna shot? Ooh, I took the Moderna shot and I got the first shot, y'all. And I was in bed for two days, y'all. It it just, um, I had 102 temperature. It was crazy. I still have to go take, take the second shot. I'm a little scared, but um, yeah. Maybe if you could take the Pfizer shot, <laughs> I probably shouldn't be saying that, but you know. Hi, Betty. How are you? I, I saw you took a tumble. I'm so sorry. I hate it when that happens, you know, you get your feet all twisted up. All right. So for those of you just joining, we took, we're taking this uh, bunny wreath from the Dollar Tree. And all I did was disassemble it. And um, I just took some yarn and I've started um, wrapping it. This is real fuzzy yarn, so um, it's up to you how thick you want it. Looks like I could have got it a little thicker right there. But like I said, y'all just do it like you want it. And if you want to make yourself a wreath for, uh, for Easter, this would be a good little project. Okay. So when you do that, you just have to let that um, dry, that hot glue dry. I got me a new mat. I'm so proud of my mat. I, I took the other one and without thinking, I painted on it and I thought it would wipe off and it did not. So, yeah, so this is just, just, just over and over again. And right down here, it's harder to get the yarn to stay, but you can just work with a little bit. You okay? I hope so. It's just sore. Oh, man. I can't imagine. I fall a lot because I can't feel my right leg, and I just get it all twisted up underneath me. And uh, it's not pretty. <laughs> all right, so we're getting down here. At the very end and I'm gonna say that we're not gonna be able to get any more yarn down here without really really working with the, the glue okay so I'm gonna cut this off I'm gonna let that dry I'm gonna work on the ears okay um, hopefully 
This will look like a cute little bunny wreath when we get done. Okay. Just be careful not to get that hot glue on your finger. And I'm just going to tuck it in there. And push it back on there. It's trying to come off. It's got those little um, cleat things that helps it stay on. That's the reason I don't cut them off. A lot of people cut them little cleats off, but I find it that it helps me keep the yarn on. This yarn is so thick too. It depends on what kind of yarn that you get. Um, I'm going to glue this and put these little clips on there. And I think by doing that, that'll help it when we get down here to the end. Okay, we're going to work on the ears. And I would just tuck it in, just get you some glue. This is Gorilla Glue, um, hot glue. So it really, really holds once you get it going, okay? So here we go. We're just going to wrap. And you know, you, you could, I don't know if you could, you wouldn't want to do it that way, would you? No, it wouldn't come out that way, I guess. All right, so you, you could use felt on the ears, but I want to use maybe both. And so this yarn was like $6.99 at Hobby Lobby. And it goes a long way. You wouldn't think that it does, but it, it does go a long way. And I don't know. Did y'all see my bunny um, wreath that I made? I don't know if y'all uh, remembered the, the bunny wreath that I made. I don't even know if I made a video over it, y'all, but it's in my Etsy shop, and y'all, um, go look at it and get an idea on how you could, you know, we talked about putting lace on there, Betty, so I think, I think we did that, but that, that's another really cute little bunny wreath that you could do. It's a little more expensive than this, but I did use this yarn. All right. So I'm just going to cut that off. Let's see which one's the front, which one's the back. Got to be careful. All right. This is, this is y'all's wreath, so it doesn't have to be perfect. I was wondering. Well, I'll just use this. All right. So I'm going to clip that shut while that dries and start this. All right. I'm just going to start it. I'm going to glue it. I have burnt my fingers. I left the little thingy on just because it's a good way to hang it. I've burnt my fingers several times on this, but that's all right. I'm used to it. Okay. I've got it hot glued now. And... I guess you could, there's several ways that you can look, you can tell where the yarn was tied together. Well, I'm just going to leave it because I don't want to have to start it. I'm just going to tuck it in best I can. All right, just continue to wrap. Okay. All right, let's see. Glue. Betty, did you see the, um, did you get to see my uh, patriotic truck that I, that I got when I first started the video? I wanted to show you this. Look at this. Patriotic truck that we're going to do. Isn't it cute? It's the little red truck. It says, God bless America with the American flag. And I got um, ribbon. And I got deco mesh. And I'm going to put together a kit 
and um, do the tutorial. So, yeah. Well, hopefully, y'all will love it as much as I do. All right, we're going to cut this off. Murphy. Murphy, bud. I mean, he has not barked all morning. Alright, so we're just going to lift that shut right there. Get you some good clips. Alright, so that was pretty easy. You can still see this right here a little bit, but I'm going to put a bow there, so I'm not really worried about it. I'm going to take this off and see what kind of mess we have here. This is the front. I'm just going to glue it down a little bit more. Just going to get that glued really good. And I don't want to touch it, so I'm going to put these clips on there. Okay. Now, I thought, do we want to go ahead and just decorate the face? And just do this little bunny hanger. So you could do it that way. You could just decorate it a little bit. Or we could um, go ahead and make a bunny right out of it. Where it's got the little body on it. So if you do that, we're just going to do the very same thing. We're just going to take this and wrap it. start this one and these are a dollar at the Dollar Tree and so we're just gonna you could wrap this in ribbon too if you wanted to um, instead of the yarn but I love the yarn and I love the colors that you can get this in you can get this in a pale blue um, a pale like a peach color Really pretty colors. Okay, I'm going to stop and glue because I didn't glue that to start with. Okay. So. Lots of glue. All right, we're just going to use this and go all the way around. And you can use the foam if you can't find this uh, grapevine wreath. Just use foam um, and wrap the foam. I like the grapevine. You know what? We could have left it like that, couldn't we? Just the grapevine wreath. Wonder what that would look like. I'm kind of, I'm kind of liking it both ways. Well, either way, I've already started, so we're gonna go on with it. But you could have just left the grapevine raw, natural. It would have been good. Murphy, bud, give it a break. Murphy. thing about this is they do uh, tie it together in knots. Murphy gets jealous and sometimes he acts out. And I guess that's what he's doing right now. His daddy's not been home all week. So um, it's just been me and him. And I stay busy. Um around the house and doing my crafts. I've organized my craft room, y'all. And uh, it's just crazy. So, I feel like I'm ready to go. Um, I feel like I've just been under the weather and been fighting it all, the, all week. All the last, since February. Since I got the coronavirus, I think I have fought being well since then. All right. We're just going to keep it going. And you can, another way you can do this is you can do the, the, the back of the bunny. So you wouldn't have to decorate uh, the bunny's face. You could just leave it plain. Put a tail on the back of this. That would be cute. 
and you wouldn't have to decorate the ears unless you just wanted to since it's the back of it maybe we'll do that but I already got the stuff to decorate the face so and I'm not wrapping this really tight I'm just wrapping it loose so it'll be fluffy All right, I'm excited for the bunny butt, bunny butt wreath that we're going to make. Um, there's so many different techniques that you can use, um, and I want to get the best technique for the bunny butt. So I've really been putting a lot of thought into it. All right, I'm almost done with this, y'all. Just keep it going. I never knew like how to use these little grapevine wreaths are so tiny but I do buy them when I go to the Dollar Tree because of little crafts like this you know look we're ending it right where they tied it they tied it I don't know they shouldn't be able to do that should they they sure shouldn't they should be able to that's going to mess me up. That's okay. We're going to we're going to glue it anyway. All right. I don't even know. That's crazy how they tie it and it just you got to figure it out. Well, that's okay. Nothing has to be perfect, right? All right, so I'm just going to set that aside. And let's see if this got glued down. Good enough. I'm just going to tuck that little bit in there. All right, and now... How we're going to attach this. So we want to attach it like this right here. I think so. I'm just going to take some of the floral wire and cut it. We're just going to run it through there because, like I said, this is fluffy, Ray. Fluffy. Uh, yarn and you wouldn't be able to see it very much so just take the floral wire this is going to be the back so we're just I'm going to thread it just like I would um, just like I would th thread you know like if you were sewing because you want to get it in several different spots Well, got to go through. Sometimes this, this gauge wire is not thick enough. All right, I'm going to turn it over so I can see what I'm doing. There it goes. Just wanted to be contrary, didn't it? One more time and you can get it better than I'm getting it but if it's hanging on the door it won't matter too much you just got to get it through those little grooves and you don't know you're getting it till after you pour it pull it out all right I'm gonna cut it just a tiny bit it's like a it's like a thread, you know. You have to get a an edge that's sharp. Who knew? Who knew that this would be so difficult? <laughs> this is crazy. All right. So, well. I always put my phone on do not disturb 
and I didn't do it today because I was in a hurry and I got disturbed. Oh well. It's just a bunny wreath, right? Okay, so now I've got this on there really good and I'm just going to get it really tight. And you're not going to be able to see it. Just tuck it down. And we're back to this right here. So, and I know um, it shows a little bit, but I like that. I like the burlap showing. All right, so let's let's decorate the little bunny. Just get these off of there. They're glued down. Um, I got this from the Dollar Tree, and I thought, well, I could just um, have, if I'd have thought about it, you could just have put that on there and then just wrap that. But... I also have some felt, so I kept the little ears from here, right here. So I'm just going to trace these, and I'm going to cut them out and put them on there. And I think it'll look good like that. I'm going to spank my little boy for being a bad boy. All right. And I'm, I'm going to cut it just inside of the, where I drew, because I don't want it to show. And this should fit it perfect because it came off of it. So, all right. Just get it where you can't see where you drew the lines. All right. Who knows? Maybe there's a burglar outside and I don't even know it. <laughs> All right. I'm going to try to get them just to light, but they don't always make, make out like that. All right. Guess you could use blue if you're doing for a little a boy bunny. I'm trimming that. I don't like it like that, so I'm going to trim it. That's better. I'm going to trim this a little bit. Murphy boy, you're going to be in trouble. Okay, there. That's better. And I'm just going to hot glue them on. Doesn't take very much hot glue with this type of material. Okay. There we go. And for the little um the little nose, um just take the nose off of your old one and use it for um a pattern. You can get it off. <laughs> Pink nose. Black whiskers. The thing about this bunny face is it was so ugly in the store that, you know, I don't think you'd want to use it. Okay, and then I've got some black. Look at there for his pink for his cheek and black for his whiskers. I just cut some felt out. And I just made some strips. And I guess 
I should have. Let's see. There you go. It would have been better if I'd have just done it like this. But that looks like his eyes. I was wanting to put his eyes there. Okay, but this goes right in around his nose. So maybe we won't put his little cheeks on. Okay. Three whiskers on each side if you want. And for his eyes, let's do let's do some googly eyes for his eyes. Googly eyes are always my favorite. Okay. All right, so I've got googly eyes. Let's take the little thing off and let's get these glued on. Let's see. Do we want them all the way over? Like so. I like that. Okay. Just going to put a tiny bit of glue on there. We're going to work our way over. And this I have to glue separately. All right. It's up, it's on my finger, y'all. Okay. One. This is so uh, tiny. One's a little thicker. This glue is sticking to me and the felt and everything else. Okay. I keep the glue off of my new mat. I'm going to take some time and move that. All right. So now we need a mouth. Um, do we want a mouth like his? Let's see. We could probably just use this mouth, or we could cut it out with felt, either way. But I like it because it has um, when you, a little bit of whiskers on it left when you pull it off. So I'm just going to use this. Okay. There. Now, the only other thing I had was the cheeks, but... I mean, you, I guess you could do that if you wanted to. And you can still hang him up. You can put feet on him down here. Um, you can put a little tail on the back. Ooh, that'd be cute. Just a ball of a, for a tail. Um, I'm going to put an Easter bow on him. And this ribbon came from the Dollar Tree. So we're carrying that theme over to the ribbon. Um, I have a different ribbon. Oh, it's in purple. Okay, we're going to use that in purple since it's a little boy. Alright. Um, I need... I need some wire, I guess, to put underneath me. So when I bring the bow up, the wire, I can tie it on. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and dovetail this while we're starting out. And we're going to do that about eight inches. I'm going to twist it. You can do this um, just holding this in your hand if you want. If you don't have a bow maker. And then I'm going to make these about five inches, I think. All right. It doesn't have to be a big, big, gigantic bow. Probably um, it'd be better if it was just um, not quite 
so big because the bunny's so cute. But I like this ribbon because it did come from the Dollar Tree. I am fixing to get up and go spank that dog. All right. Let's see. How many loops do we want on each side? Let's do a, this one a little smaller. And we may not put the purple on there. We may not put the purple on there. We may just do this like this. Sometimes simple is good. All right, so I'm gonna dovetail this. Do y'all do that? I get talking and I do it the wrong way. It's like, no, okay. All right, so the purple. I'm going to put one right in the very, very center to where it makes a little loop. And that's all I'm going to do with the purple is just make one little bitty thing in the middle. All right, so when you do that, you just take the wire now, wrap it around that, pull it out from the bottom, wrap it across, take this and pull it up. Make sure you have it even on each side. Keep it straight. Pull it up. Pull the ribbon around. Tie it as tight as you can get it. Okay. I am looking for um, maybe opening a shop here and doing wreath classes. I'm so kind of excited about it. Okay, and you you know this you can use any any you want. All right, so cut this extra off right here. You just have to make sure you get it cut right in the middle. So this one gonna go right around the neck. Cover up all those little blemishes. Okay. Just as tight as you can get it. Open the bow up. Open the little side things up. And we have this. The only thing I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of that purple and I'm gonna make one little bow up at the top. And just do it really quick. Yep. That way, if you got a little blemish up there, it's okay. This is just a simple, simple bow. Okay. I like to use the wire cutters because I have a good pair of scissors and it. I don't like to use my scissors. And we're just going to take some wire and wire it on there. Okay, you can use Chanel sticks. That's what I normally use. Just run it right through there. Not around it like we did this one, but right through there. Okay, now just pull it tight. I'm not going to dovetail these. I'm just going to do a little diagonal cut. And he is ready to go. What do you think? 
it works for your front door or for your gate. You could do two of those, Betty. <laughs> Uh-oh. You can put these on if you want. I left my little whiskers hanging, but you can glue them down. Especially if you're going to be outside, you probably want to glue them down. But I like it. Thanks, y'all. All right, stay tuned. I'm going to try to do this bunny butt on my uh, in my business group or maybe my VIP group. But stay tuned. I'll see you in a bit. Bye.